Congruence is a very important concept in geometry. The definition means equal measure. So if two things are congruent, then they have equal measure. If two shapes are congruent, they're the same shape and the same size. The symbol for congruence is an equal sign with a squiggle on top. Look at these two triangles to the right. These triangles have all the same angles and all the same sides. Therefore, they are congruent. In the congruent statement we would write is triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. Let's talk a little more about that. Congruent parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Look at side AB. That's equal to 10 centimeters. And side DE is also equal to 10 centimeters. So side AB is congruent to side DE. Side BC measures 14 centimeters, and side EF measures 14 centimeters. Therefore, side BC is congruent to side EF. Side CA is 6 centimeters long, and side FD is 6 centimeters long. Therefore, side CA is congruent to side FD. Each side on triangle ABC has a congruent side on triangle DEF. Let's talk about the angles. Angle A is 80 degrees and angle D is also 80 degrees. So angle A is congruent to angle D. Angle B is congruent to angle E because they both measure 36 degrees. Angle C is congruent to angle F because they both measure 64 degrees. And this is why we write it this way. Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF because angle A was congruent to angle D, angle B to angle E, angle C to angle F, and the sides in between were also congruent. Congruent triangles look like a, they can look like they have been translated, a translation. They can look like they're a reflection of one another. They could look like a rotation. It doesn't matter if you turned it, if you flipped it, if you shifted it, if they're the same shape and the same size, then they are congruent. So now we need to know, are these triangles congruent? First, I will start with one of the sides. The side CA is 12 inches. Now what side is also 12 inches on the other triangle? That would be side TO. Now how do I know it's side TO and not written as OT? Well, I'm getting, I'm looking ahead a little bit and I see that angle C is 42 degrees and angle T is 42 degrees. So if I start with the letter C, I need to start with the letter T. That means we found another one. Angle C is congruent to angle T. Side AT is 8 inches and side OP is 8 inches. Angle A is 48 degrees and angle O is 48 degrees. So angle A is congruent to angle O. So if I start this side length with the letter A, I need to start this side length with the letter O, and that would be OP. Now the side length TC, what is that congruent to? TC is 10 inches, PT is 10 inches. Let's check those angles. Angle T is 90 degrees, and angle P is 90 degrees. So angle T is congruent to angle P. 
So if I started with T in the first triangle, I start with P in the second triangle. Looking at that, which of the following congruence statements is correct? Remember, the order of the letters does matter. Triangle CAT is congruent to triangle TOP. That would be option C. Are these triangles congruent? Let's do the angles first this time. I see angle W is 70 degrees. Angle H is also 70 degrees. So angle W is congruent to angle H. Angle E is 32 degrees and angle G is 32 degrees. So angle E is congruent to angle G. Angle B is 78 degrees, angle I is 78 degrees. So angle B is congruent to angle I. This first side length, WE, is 3 meters. And the side length that is 3 meters here would be HG. How do I know we go in that order? Well, W is the 70 degree angle and E is the 32 degree angle. So we start with the 70 degree angle, which is H, and we end with the 32 degree angle, which is G on this second triangle. Side EB is four meters long and side IG is four meters long. Hmm, how do I write that in the same order? E to B, that would be the purple angle or the pink angle to the orange angle. So we go pink to orange, G to I, G, I. B, W is two meters long and I, H is two meters long. We wanna start with the 78 degree angle which is B or I and end with the 70 degree angle which is W in the first triangle and H in our second triangle. So which of the following congruence statements is correct? WEB is congruent to HGI. That would be option B. You could, we can also see that in the first letters of the side lengths, WEB, HGI. Are the following triangles congruent? I want you to try filling this one out in your notes and then click continue when you're ready to check your answer. It looks like these are congruent triangles. So what is the correct congruent statement? X, Y, Z is congruent to V, U, T. Triangle X, Y, Z is congruent to triangle V, U, T. That would be option B. Are these triangles congruent? Let's try this one. L, E is congruent to, ooh, there are two side lengths that are 20 meters long, interesting. So let's look at the angles. Angle L is congruent to, hmm, not angle B. Angle L is 26 degrees. Is there an angle on this triangle that's 26 degrees? No, in fact, none of the angles are the same. So even though it seems like maybe this side length would correspond with that side length, or perhaps this side length would correspond with this side length. We can see that these side lengths are definitely not the same and all the angles are not the same. If any one of these parts is not the same, then the triangles are not congruent. To recap, congruence means equal measure, the same shape, same size. 
The order of the letters matters when you're writing your congruence statement.